A lot of you are wondering why Sniper Wolf has not been deleted off the YouTube platform. And it's not as cut and dry and as simple as it's YouTube. It's not YouTube. And it's not Google. I know exactly who's responsible for her not getting kicked off the platform. You've got to think a lot higher than YouTube. You've got to think a lot higher than Google. The people that are responsible for not deleting or taking her off the platform completely is Vanguard Financial. Vanguard Financial own YouTube and they own Google. She makes YouTube around $10,000, $12,000 per month in revenue. Per year, that's about $120,000, $100,000 a year. She makes them. Do you think a financing company, a financing corporation that owns half of the world, by the way, they have, they own half of the stock market. They are the elites. Do you think they're going to let a financial asset be depleted out of the YouTube ecosystem just like that? That's not going to happen. Vanguard Financial, whoever's in charge up there at the top, the decision makers, they have decided to tell YouTube slash Google not to get rid of Sniper Wolf, to keep her, to give her the bare minimum punishment, but not to delete her because they are all about the money. No YouTuber is saying this other than me, which means that I'm going to have a target on the back of my head for saying this. I'm either going to get blocked on YouTube I'm going to get deleted off YouTube or some consequence is going to come find me because I am telling the truth. When you tell the truth, people will come after you. V malicious, dangerous people will come after you because you are a threat. If I can expose one thing they've done, I can expose multiple things that they're going to do. Okay? It's just a matter of time because more YouTubers are going to be corrupt and are corrupt and I will expose them one by one and I know where the root is coming from. But you've got to follow the money. If you want to find corruption, you follow the money trail and it leads all the way to the top and the top of the crop and the top of the top is Vanguard Financial. They are up there with BlackRock. They are the elites. They own half the world. There's no other place it could come from. So it's crazy people, it's crazy what I'm saying, but just think about it logically. You've got yourself an asset that makes a lot of money per month. Why would you let it go? Regardless of how much corruption, if you were just financially money focused, money driven, and you don't give a fuck about anything, about morals, about righteousness, about right from wrong, all you care about is making as much money as you can because you are competing with other financial firms. You want to be the biggest dog, yeah? You want to have the most money, which means you will hire the most corrupt people, criminals, good people, bad people. Doesn't matter as long as it makes money. Salespeople are among some of the most sleaziest people on this planet, yet they get hired the most, and most of them have really bad backgrounds. Let's just put that into retrospect. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. This might be my last video before something happens. Make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Peace out, people. Bye-bye-bye.